Today, I'm going to show you the easiest way to get a large rucksack every time in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. Let's not waste any more time. Large rucksacks are one of the rarest items to find in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. Sure, it's possible to find them in reward rifts, hidden caches, and general loot crates found around the map, but that is purely random. The only non-random way of getting a large backpack every time that I know of is by buying it from a high threat level buy station. Luckily, this is easier to pull off than it sounds, and let me show you how. It's no secret that decoys are essential when going into tier 3. Their distraction ability will be pivotal to the strategy, so be sure you have them equipped. Throwing knives are also a one-hit kill to dogs and armorless zombies in tier 3, just be sure your aim is good. Right before going in, I highly recommend hitting an ammo crate as it will refill your lethal and tactical grenades. At this point, many players could just go in with those two items. People go in all the time with one armor plate vast decoys and a throwing knife, but if that's too risky for you, I do recommend getting at least a blue rarity weapon that is pack-a-punched to tier 2. This weapon can be anything, but if you're nervous, a lighter weapon like a pistol or SMG still does feel really good running in tier 3. Also noteworthy, having no secondary weapon is beneficial in tier 3 because running with your fists out will grant you the fastest movement speed possible. But if you don't want to give up your second weapon, holding a killstreak like the Juggernaut or Mortar Strike will also grant you a great increase in movement speed. As far as perks are concerned, while none of them are completely necessary, stamina up is an obvious choice for staying ahead of the zombies chasing after you. And Speed Gola is great for plating faster when you get hit, and Jug is always a great choice for more health. Now that you have all of that, you need to complete contracts or kill enemies until you have at least 10,000 points. Once you do, you can finally approach the Tier 3 island, just be sure to check your attack map so you know where the buy station is and plan your route accordingly. There is a portal location that gets you on top of a tower within Tier 3, so be sure to watch my portal guide video if you want to see all the portal locations and symbols. However, there's nothing else to do other than run. As you're running through Tier 3, be sure you are making wide turns and sliding when possible. If you hear a dog on your tail, try to tack sprint, slide, and then turn around to either kill it with a throwing knife or your blue pack 2 weapon. As you approach the buy station, throw a decoy grenade or two to give yourself enough time to navigate the menus. The good news is that these items, as of now, are in consistent slots within the buy station. So if you want to take a note of where the large rucksack is on the video right now, that's where it will hopefully be in your game as well. So long as they don't add or take anything away from the buy station after this video is released. After all, season one is just around the corner. And if you're interested in seeing what's coming in Modern Warfare Zombies season one, be sure to check out this video and stay beautiful. Thank <laughs> you.